Hello, my name is Al Palmer and I'm here because I would like to try and help you make your first home loan and maybe save you a lot of money. So this is a little formula I've come up that I that I've come up with that I uh, did when I bought my first house and paid it off early and it uh, it saved me a ton of money and I want to you know extend that to you. So what I'm going to do is show you a little bit about how amortization schedules work and how you can prepay some of your payments, which will end up saving you money in the long run. So let's first look at what an amortization schedule is. So I'm going to go to a website, which you will find in the links below, that will show you what your payments are for a, for a loan, and how much goes to the principal and how much goes to interest and I'll explain it all to you right here. Okay, this is a this is a amortization schedule calculator. This calculator is to help you figure out what your payments are. Now, this calculator only tells you what your interest and principals are. They're not going to tell you what your um any any type of money that's paid in advance for um, you know taxes and stuff like that or if you're paying points or or any of that kind of stuff it's just uh, the amount of money of your loan the amount of money going to principal and the amount of money going to uh, uh, interest so when you open this up you put in the amount of your loan now the, the money that I put in here was just for a hundred thousand dollar loan for 30 years at 5% interest now whatever you do might be slightly different than that and so you can put in your own numbers and, and it'll calculate. When I hit calculate, it tells me what my monthly payments are. And everybody thinks, well, that's all I need to know. But there's much more that you can do with this. So let's hit calculate the whole thing. And then we're going to say show amortization schedule. And when you do that, you end up with an amortization schedule that shows you every payment your payment, how much goes to principal, how much goes to interest, and total interest paid. Your very first payment on this loan is $536. 120 of it went to the actual payment of the house, and 416 of that was interest. Okay, that seems like a lot of interest to me, and I, the only advantage I see in paying interest is that you get to have all this money before you've actually been able to save it up. Second payment is going to be exactly the same amount of money, $536. Still $120.66 goes to principal and $416 goes to interest. And total interest paid is now $832 and you still owe $99,759 on your loan. So the loan is being chipped away at very, very slowly and your interest is piling up. This kind of you know, makes me think, geez, I'm paying a lot of money in interest. And remember, this goes on and on for 30 years. I'm only up to 2023 now. That's only two years. I mean, this page goes down and, and out the street and down out the door and down the street. So let's let's look at this. What I'd like you to do is print this out. And it's nine pages long of these numbers. And you used to get these numbers from a book like this. And this book tells you what your interest payments are. What your, same thing this chart does, and you look it up. It's nothing but a bunch of charts and graphs and numbers, and it tells you every month for different percentage rates. But with these uh, websites like this, it makes it all much, much easier. And you can do the same type of thing. So uh, let's look at this lifetime of payments in a graph that might make a little more sense. So I put this graph together. This is 30 years of your life that you're paying for your house. If you bought your house when you're 25 years old, here you're 55 years old, kids are out of college, you got grandkids, you've been paying for this for 30 years. Here's the amount of money that you're paying out. Your payment for this loan is $536.82 every month as the differences in amount go to principal and the amount paid in interest changes per month. So let's look at that. When you first make your first payment at year zero, your payment is $120. It's about right here. 
$120. It's about right there. Five years into this loan, the amount of money that you're putting towards your principal is, is, is 100, uh, sorry, um, $154. So at five years in, you're about right here. 10 years into this loan, you're at 197. You still haven't even crossed $200 yet. So right about here is the amount that is going towards your principal. Okay, at 15 years, it's 253. So that's about 250, about right there. And at 15 years, you're about right there. And at 20 years, it is uh, 325. So it's 325. It's about right there. At 25 years, you're 50 years old now. It's $418. So it's about right there for uh, maybe a little bit higher okay and at 30 years it's 534 it's the whole payment so at 30 years you're up to here so if we connect these dots that is the amount of money that you pay for your house right here the whole square would be 536 times 360. That's how many months 30 years in, which is almost $200,000. It's 193,000, 193,000, um, $253, $253. This is how much you pay of this amount of money times uh, 360 months or 30 years. Now, you are required to pay all of this off. That's what you signed up to do. This is what you're paying in interest, all the area above this curve. Here's what I'm suggesting. When you make your first payment right here, you bring up your amortization schedule. And this is why I said print it off. So I'm going to oops, put down my marker. Bring it up here. Your first month, it's right here. You're going to pay off this month, yep, right there. And you're going to add $120 to that, and you're going to pay off two months at the same time. Now, what does that do? That makes it so that when you're looking here, you've just paid off this payment and the one right next to it out of 360 payments. Well, what you didn't pay was the amount of money that comes down here that meets that. You paid your second payment at the same time you made your first payment. So every time you make a payment, this is why I want you to print this off. You go in and you say, my next payment, I'm on my third payment now. I'm going to pay a regular $536. That's right there. And I'm going to add another $121.66 right there. And then once again, what that does is it makes two payments right here. So now I've made, I'm two months into my loan, but I've made four payments. And I've come and I've saved two payments here, which is, you know, $250 I'm saving. Now, you can pay your loan ahead like this. The banks don't care, but you can never, even though you're ahead, you can never skip a payment. So you have to stay on track and you keep making payments. But if you think of this extra payment here as really being shortening the loan, think about this. If you've paid for five years and now your extra payments at five years are only going to be up, you know, 150 some dollars. So out of the 536, you'd now be paying, what, uh, 700 at this point? You've just made your... 30-year loan into you've paid off five years but you've also paid off a nut if you do this for five years you've paid off five years and another 10. so now what you had is 30-year loan is now a 20-year loan now you're five years in but you've shaved five years off the back as you continue to do this if you do this for 10 years you'll bring this 30 back to 20 you'll be making these payments in here and skipping the area that's above this curve. If you can do this for 15 years, you end up paying your loan off. Now, 
I understand as you get into this, these numbers get high and you have to keep adding whatever this number is back to your original payment of 536. In the beginning, it's easy. That's why this is important to start early. You're only adding $150 to your loan. Five years in, when you're 10 years into the loan, it's still less than $200 into your loan. Your pay will go up with your job. Your income will increase, that kind of stuff. So you should be able to keep up with this payments. I paid off my house in, in 12 years. I was 24 years into my loan, and these payments started to get pretty steep and it became difficult. But 24 years into the loan, I only had, if I stopped doing that, I only had six years to go before I was paying the loan off. So it's important to start early. Starting here doesn't save you that much left of the curve if you're already 25 years into the loan. But down here, you can save a ton of money by putting money into your loan early. One of the things that happened to me is I came into some money, the bank made an error and said, hey, we owe you $800. And I went down here and I just said, ooh, how many payments can I pay off with 800 bucks? And, and it moved me ahead like at that time, you know, almost a year and a half into my loan. And I thought, holy cow, that's just, that times my original payment was thousands of dollars. So my point is if you can make these payments early, you can save a lot of money on the total amount of money that you would normally pay for your house. Make sure your bank approves of you making all the extra payments you make go towards your principal and, no, uh, and not into escrow accounts or something like that. Okay, good luck and uh, pay off that house early.